I think it's about time we, uh, we document our troubles here. Yeah. So where are we and what are we doing? So, what did it be, two days ago? I don't know, it's all blended into one time block, this whole leg. But um, a while ago, let's say that, the um, basically the water maker stopped making water. So effectively, the salt water gets pushed through a pump into the water maker and effectively the water gets pushed through a membrane under super high pressure which effectively takes out all the salt water. Um, but the problem is we can't pressurise the machine anymore which means there's no pressure to push the water through the membrane which means no water. So, <laughs> bit of a disaster. We managed to get it working a few times but still pretty intermittent. Uh, so we, we've basically come down to that air is somehow getting into the system and then we're not being out of pressurizer because there's air in the system somewhere but it's it's difficult to work out where from because there's you know obviously a lot of places where it could be coming from and the boats jumping around and everything so it's um pretty frustrating and obviously it's the main water source which is pretty important so uh, and there's still so you know nine days or ten days left in the lake so it's not like we can sort of ration and get through with what we got so um, Got to get it sorted. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Open reset. Open bleed. Screwing up. Better than the football. Okay. Okay, run. Two, one, thousand, two. And open, then screw more, right? So after you run for two seconds, you open both valves and try and go more. left with at this point no working water maker so it's time to start thinking about alternatives we've got a spare on board that uh, produces at about a tenth of the capacity of our primary and um, it was rigged differently so there's going to be a lot of work to do to even get that plumbed and power to it and all of that stuff so it's gone from a, um, a nuisance to a problem pretty quickly and now it's just about finding our way through figuring out next steps, but um, I'm always thirsty. Not really sure how, but uh, just <laughs> managed to revive it for the time being. So we've got water coming in. Water comes in from the keel here. It's down to the pump here. In the pump now we bypassed all of these filters and accumulators, so now it just goes straight to the water maker. And you can see it's getting here up to about six bars of pressure, pushing it through a membrane. We got the fresh water. So while it's here, I am going to switch. So now you can see the water's no longer coming out of here. It's actually going here. as unreliable as this is not uh, is not what you want to do sailing another week and a half to Cape Town so we'll, uh, we'll make water like they say make hay and uh, have a good think about why it's working now and, and what I just did differently but for the time being at least we're happy to be 
potentially having a drink in the future. Well, 